the way you start those uh, videos i used to uh, watch hello there i just love it <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the IELTS podcast. Learn from tutors and ex-examiners who are masters of IELTS preparation. Your host, Ben Worthington. Right then. So, Divya, could you tell me a little bit about yeah. yourself, please? Like uh, why you decided to take the IELTS and like what you plan to do uh, now that you've passed it. Okay, yeah. So I am the Bashar from Delhi and I am in a pharmaceutical consulting field. I wanted to go more and move to some developed nation like Canada. So that is why I want uh, I applied for the Permanent Residency of Canada. For that there it is to pass the eyelids general test. So that is why I gave it twice and finally I made it to get my desired score. That is CLBP nine, in which you have to score uh, in listening eight, and uh, in rest of the section you have to score at least seven. Right. Okay. I see. Okay then. So, can you tell me how were you preparing for the exam before? For enrolling to your course. Yes. Yeah. So I was. Not giving much attention to my writing, I knew this is something uh, that I was not able to improve, and I was just ignoring the fact that I'm not good in writing. But I had to score a uh, good in. Uh, I had to score at least seven in writing. But uh, what I was doing was that I had some books, and I was looking at how they had the model answers that they had in those books. But it was not helping me at all. And that's why in my first attempt, I scored just six point five, and then. I thought that it's high time. This is second attempt, and I should at least score seven in writing as well. So I just googled that: uh, is there anything online help that I can get? And your name just pop up in my <laughs> search, and that is when told, and then then <laughs> things just just got better. Okay, right then, that's good. And can you tell me? Um, At what moment did you decide to invest in uh, in the course? Like, what made you decide to purchase in the end? Yeah. So, um, first of all, your one euro test was quite helpful. It it really told me that these are my weakness within the uh, writing section, and I should do it. I remember that lady Gwendolyn. He. Mm-hmm. Uh, checked my answer and sent me the response in the videos. So, so she told me about how I should structure it well. So, uh, I really like that thing, that one euro test that you have. And then uh, I thought of purchasing it because uh, it was just twenty uh, days left for my exam, and I was not at all confident that I will be able to score at least ten seven. And that uh, one euro test. That really helped me, and I felt confident. And I saw some of the testimonials also on your uh, website. Plus, there was a statement disclaimer that was coming on your website that if you don't score seven, then you will get the refund. So this is something that gave me confidence that yeah, I should go ahead because otherwise I have never enrolled in such on- online courses, and I was a little skeptical: is it real or is it is it? Uh, Big kind of thing. So these things like uh, Gwendolyn checking my answers and uh, then that statement that guaranteed seven and above score you can get. So these things gave me the confidence that yeah I should go ahead and purchase that course. Right, fantastic, but uh, interesting. Yeah, uh, Gwendolyn, she's an um, English American. Uh, she lives in both countries. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I used to do the the essay corrections, and now now she's doing okay. them. But the one euro essay check, um, I guess you got that because you sent in, um, you were, you probably emailed me and said, oh, I need help with the writing, and then I think somebody on our team said, okay, you can try this one euro correction, and yeah, I think it's a good way yeah. because if you like the method of the video correction. Then, 
yeah. you know it's going to work well in the future, but if you don't like the video correction, then you don't have to take it to the next step. So, okay, so I'm really... Yeah, that's that's quite helpful. It actually gives me the flavor that this is what exactly I will I should expect from the course that I'll be writing and you will be correcting it and sending me back. So this is just something that I really wanted. So uh, this gave me the confidence that yeah, this is the method that you are going to follow and this is the kind of course that I'm enrolling in. So I had those you set the expectations right that. Uh, these things are going to happen if you enroll, if you purchase the course, and then you can go ahead if you want it, or you know you think that our method is not right. That you, then you are then it's okay. Then you should not enroll. Mm -hmm. So that one you can check is the right thing. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a such yeah, totally. it's a unique thing actually. <laughs> yeah, the and I should say one thing for the listeners that. To qualify for the jump to a band seven or it's free, the guarantee, you do have to send in your previous certificate where you got 6.5 in the writing. And there's another requirement that you do all the steps in the process. Because if you don't do all the steps in the process, then I, it's going to be much more difficult to get the score. But you did everything perfectly, Divya. You did everything and you completed the assignments, you did the homework, you did yeah. the 16 ideas, you worked through the whole course, and that's another key factor that helps you jump to a band, was it 7.5 in the end? Yeah, so I would like to, to tell all the listeners that, that are going to listen to this, that it's, uh, it's not just you give the money and they will have some magic wand and you will get the score, it's quite grueling. They will give you the score, uh, they will give you the questions, I mean, the test that you have to answer every day and then you have to read other lessons also and then you have to correct whatever mistakes that the uh, you or Gwendolyn are going to check. So, it's it's a lot of investment, time investment also. So it's not just money that you give and then it's uh, it will give you guarantee. So, ultimately, it's we who have to do the work and then only we can improve. Absolutely. Because I remember that I used to work for like my office hours are really, really ridiculous. So we work for like 10 to 12 hours. And after that, I used to work and work and work. I mean, I used to study a lot. So that's how I end up getting this score. If you, uh, yeah, if you did all the work, I forgot about that. I said there's the, all the corrections that you have to do. And you totally right there, Divya. It's not a case of waving a magic wand. There is work involved. However, if you are super prepared and, and determined, then this can be passed. You know, the IELTS is not impossible. It's just a question of improving and gaining the skills. Yeah. And I think you're, you're a very good example, you know, of doing the work and doing it in a very short period of time as well. Because I think it took you like, uh, how long did it take you to do the course? Maybe like 15 days or something like that. 15 days, yeah. 15 days, more or less. Yeah, 15 days. Uh-huh. And, and yeah. I, I have to say to the listeners, I mean, what usually happens and what should happen is that the student starts the course and then they get some exercises to do. They send in the exercises, they get reviewed, and then they get sent back with the next mm -hmm. task. And then the student... And, you have, and then you have to write out the essays, do the tasks, and then send them in for correction. And then you get a reply back and you get the essays back with some more tasks to do and some more essays and the corrections and stuff like that. And it goes on like this. So if you need to pass like in three days, it's not going to happen. Maybe the structure of the essays, which you get with the sentence guide, that's sort of like a system, will help you. But the best way to do it, I mean, it can be completed in tw in 10 days, but the correction will come back in 24 hours. And that's sort of like, um, as soon as you get it back, the best thing to do is to review it, implement everything that you hear on the video, and then write some new, new yeah. essays. Yeah. So, but well done. That's a fantastic result. 7.5. Um, how did you feel when you got that 7.5? 
so yeah there is a dramatic story around it so i did not get 7.5 immediately so uh, when my result came i got 6 in my writing and i was shocked because up to my uh, exam writing was the only section i was confident about and i was expecting at least 8.5 score in that based mm-hmm. on whatever i have learned from your course so but then when i saw the 6 i thought i have to apply for reevaluation because this is not something that i should expect and then um, there is this provision that you have to pay like around 8000 currency in indian rupees and uh, if your score is not improved then you will not get the refund but in case your score is improved then you will get the refund so it took around 4 uh, to 6 week for my result to come back and finally i got my score after evaluation it was uh, improved it was it jumped to 1 so i got wow. from 6 my score jumped to 7 so then finally i got the 7.5 overall band wow that's the second student i've heard doing this you know I didn't know that you yeah. did the, you applied for the reevaluation and you applied for the reevaluation because you were convinced that your writing was much better than the score they gave you. Yeah, yes. I told you like I was expecting at least 8.5, mm. not not at least, but I was expecting 7 and the max I could get is 8.5. So and i was very confident it was the only section i was thinking that that has gone very well i was so happy that for all the section that i have done i was happiest for the writing after my exam that finally i did it and i'm confident i'll get the score and when my result came i was shocked no i thought that i should apply for reevaluation and there are certain forums in on webs uh, other google websites that i saw that people say no it it's it's very rare in very rare case they generally improve score otherwise the score remains the same unless you're very confident to em- don't apply for reevaluation such things i heard and then i i remember i asked you as well and you were like okay if you're confident then go ahead and then apply for reevaluation and think it uh, i mean just uh, that's how i did i was confident that i'll get the score i'll get the 7 score mm-hmm. yes well, exactly the same thing happened with um with gabriella she uh, was she's a student of mine and she put in Uh, she'd done the exam lots of time, and then she prepared with me with the sentence guide, and she got all the feedback, and then she did the test, and she got six point five, and she said no, no way, because after all the work she'd done, she was convinced exactly like you that she had improved, and that she'd um, that she didn't deserve the six point five, so she applied for reevaluation. The guy said it's going to cost a hundred and eighty dollars. It's not cheap, you know. And he said that if you don't get exactly like you just said, if you don't get the reevaluation, you have to pay the fee. You don't get it refunded. But she was absolutely convinced, and it paid off. And exactly like you, she got um, the band increase as well. And uh, can I just yeah. ask you, Divya, are you applying for immigration? Yeah, I'm applying for immigration right. to Canada. I see, I see. And yeah. when you put it on your IELTS slip on the application form, did you say that you're taking IELTS for immigration? Yeah, yeah. They do ask. They have certain section where you have to write that what is it you are applying for and for which country. All right. And now that you've uh, finally passed, fantastic. Well done. Seven point five overall. That's amazing. <laughs> and now, what's the next step, Divya? What's what are you going to do next? So, uh, this Canada immigration is uh, having express entry program where you have to. Uh, add all your score on the basis of IELTS test and your work experience, your age, and everything. And then, based on that, they uh, have this score system where they uh, draw the cutoff on in every fifteen days. So I'm just waiting for mine. My score is four seventy two out of twelve hundred, and uh, the last cutoff was four eighty two. So I was ten ten points low, lower on that. And I'm hopefully expecting it that uh, in. The next thirteen days in the next row, I'll be getting my name and I'll apply for that. So, uh, in the entire immigration program, this is the only thing that is completely in our hands. So, one should give the best for that, and this is what I did because uh, for Canada immigration, you need CLBP nine score that gives you the highest score for English proficiency. 
this is what i have achieved and all thanks to you and gwendolyn for that mm-hmm. thank you no and th- also massive thanks to you divya for putting in the work and um, you also did a tremendous amount of work and effort and it took a lot of courage to ask for the reevaluation as well you know so well done there and um, i think this is a very important lesson for everybody especially those who are taking the ielts that if you do if you have worked hard and you've yeah. um invested in your education and you can see yourself that you've improved significantly then you should strongly consider getting the reevaluation you know absolutely so, yeah i know because when i got my score i never thought that i should be asking for refund from you that see i have got seven score and you said that at least i should be getting seven otherwise i'll be get refund so i never asked that from you because i i know that i was confident that i'll get seven this is something that i deserve and your sentence i really had me especially those structure thing that you know you have uh, actually uh, make it very easier for everyone that this is the this should be the first sentence this should be the second one this should be the third one this should you should write in your uh, first paragraph then second so it's all uh, actually quite easy after after uh, knowing about the sentence guide yeah i can yeah thank you thank you um there's two points that i um i want to address the first one um you said about the, the refund I mean from my personal experience that if the student does everything in the course and does all the essays and does all the work then they should be getting a 7 and normally they do so that's why I can offer the the guarantee and the thing about the structure um, I'm I'm yeah. glad you like that that took a lot of work and it does it, it does yeah. work it makes it so much easier doesn't it you know Yeah right so it's like you have hacked how to score more than 7 so you have that formula with you Yeah yeah totally and <laughs> I think what a lot of students find useful as well is the fact that um it's sort of like a process I mean you can have the structure but it's sort of like a process for organizing your thoughts even be- like when you see the question you know exactly what to do and um, from beginning to end exactly. Yeah Yeah no uh-huh. huh Uh, yeah it's um and I'm glad Gwendolyn and um, did you like learning uh, with Gwendolyn was it a good experience Yeah it was a really good experience she used to give in detail in each and every sentence I mean she used to point out the mistakes and uh, I knew it was not easy for me to learn um in a such a small time but uh like she used to point out about the punctuation the grammar i used to use but she was always um, very uh, she used to give a constructive feedback that this is something that you are improving on and this is something that you are lacking till now i have uh, checked previously also you were doing punctuation wrong wrong and still now you are doing it wrong so this is something she used to tell very bluntly that you have to improve in this area and you have improved in this area so she used to appreciate that also so this is something that i really like about her yeah yeah i think she's a wonderful teacher and um yeah she was the best person i could find i i went through about four or five different tutors until i found her and then um, yeah she's really excelled so i'm glad that she also helped you so that's fantastic and uh, divya yeah. be- before yeah just pass some my not a thanks to her Ah, okay, yes, don't worry. I'll be telling her about this uh, interview. Don't you worry. Um one thing if yet. Do you have uh, just before we finish, um do you have anything that you would like to share with the students listening? Yeah, I would say that uh, never lose hope and even if you are doing it uh, even if this is your uh, multiple attempt, it's not your first time or your multiple attempt. It's always good to be confident and sentence guide will definitely help you to improve i mean i can guarantee it because uh, i am the live example i have just, just uh, taken this course for 15 days and my score improved from 6.5 that was my in previous attempt to 7 and uh, trust me i was really bad in writing 
even in my office emails i used to get those feedback that i should improve on my written communication which has now stopped happening and uh, it has really helped me personally and professionally from your sentence guide and uh, seriously after this sentence guide i think it's not a rocket science which i used to think and for all those who are afraid of you know scoring 7 and even imagining that they will score 7 in writing should definitely take sentence guide it will it will it will be worth your money and time thank you i can get it <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that, Divya. That was absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate that, and uh, yeah, it makes me so happy when when a student is just so um, happy and pleased with the whole process. And and of course, saying positive things about the sentence guide is amazing. But it's also amazing that um, it's also fantastic that you've got the result and that you're moving on and you're a step closer to Canada. and that's amazing so well done there and well done for doing all the work as well did you you have, uh, i'm so glad that you did pass and um, i'm glad that it helped you in your work as well that's amazing so fantastic yeah okay thank you so much you're also doing a great job helping and motivating students like us because it's really important and the way you start those uh, videos i used to uh, watch hello there i just love it <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for that <laughs> i never thought about it <laughs> that's your signature sign hello there so that's how i started writing and communicating to any random person th- that i copied your style hello there <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's fantastic yeah i mean my yeah my writing style between friends is probably similar as well so that's yeah copy it copy it and um, it's called r and d in in like colloquial english we say it's r and d and like r and d formally means a uh, research and development it's research and development yeah i yeah, know yeah. that yeah I but know. colloquially Colloquially, it's like rip yeah. and duplicate. You know, it's like rip, rip off, copy and duplicate, oh. copy. Yeah, so lots of R and D, uh, duplicate everything. Okay. <laughs> I, I do it with my okay. friends. Sorry. Okay. And now I'll tell people about the new full form of R and D because we call it research and development, and you 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 just told me about rip and duplicate. Yes. Rip off. <laughs> Yeah, but only do it like uh, with writing styles and stuff like that. We don't want to get into any problems. <laughs> sure. Okay then. Well, thank you so much, Divya. I will have to um, we'll have to finish there. Uh, thank you for agreeing to do the interview, and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you so much, and I hope you get more and more students, and they all score more than seven, and you get a lot of testimonials like I just did. And, <laughs> and uh, hopefully, I'll tell you my entire story of immigration once I move to Canada. I'll definitely keep in touch. Yeah, yeah. Send me an email, and um, yeah, definitely keep me informed about that. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see how it all turns out. IELTSPodcast.com